Programmers view objects in two different ways. As an abstract object, or as a real object. Abstract object has a description of a real object minus details. The abstract object is used as the model for a real object. For example, the printer is an abstract object. We assume that the printer can print. However, a particular model of a laser printer is no longer abstract. Such printer represents certain qualifications specific to the model. In fact, the laser printer is real, or concrete object. Focusing on objects makes it easy for us to understand complicated things. Objects enable to look at specific details. At the same time, some other details can be ignored. Therefore, we can selectively focus on particular behaviors and attributes as needed. We begin exploring abstraction by revisiting the concepts of a class, superclass, and subclass. For example, the undergraduate student class and the graduate student class are likely to inherit from the student class. This provides access to the student ID and registration behavior. Any other data, or behaviors, defined in the student class, will be inherited by each subclass. To avoid confusion, we will use terms, superclass and subclass. However, everything we say about superclass and subclass also applies to a base class and derived class. Base class and derived class terminology is adopted in C++ programming language. Superclass and subclass terminology is uniformly adopted in Java programming. Behavior defined in a superclass is referred to as default behavior, because it specifies instructions that are followed by all subclasses that use the default behavior. The program which defines the subclass has the option of using the default behavior, or redefining the behavior to suit the specific need of the subclass. Graduate students have an entirely different registration process than other types of students in the school. Therefore, the default registration behavior in the superclass cannot be used by the subclass. To properly address such situation, the programmer who defines the subclass will ignore the default registration behavior. Instead, a new registration behavior, designed specifically for a graduate student, will be introduced. Abstraction is the technique of a superclass to declare the behavior, but not provide any behavior definition. Instead, Subclasses are required to define the functionality of every behavior. For example, the student class might be designed as an abstract class. The registration operation can be made abstract simply by requiring any subclass to specify what the operation should do when invoked at runtime. The programmer of the graduate student class is forced to redefine the registration operation in order to successfully compile the application. Likewise, the programmer of the undergraduate student class is also forced to redefine the registration operation. In summary, abstraction is a way to remind the programmer about the missing operation in a superclass. Program cannot be built only with abstract classes. An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated. Program cannot declare an instance of an abstract class. An abstract class must be inherited by a subclass in order for its data and behavior to be used by the application. Otherwise, a compile error is displayed when the program compiles. 
and abstract method of the Jatva class does not require a specific set of commands. Instructions are provided in the redefined method contained in the subclass. Programmer of the super class must define only empty method as a member of the abstract class. Abstraction is implemented by defining an abstract class using the abstract keyword. The subclass defines how the behavior is actually performed at runtime. Objects of abstract classes cannot be instantiated. Abstract classes can have data members, concrete member methods, and abstract methods at the same time. Abstract method is defined by using a keyword abstract, followed by the data type of the return value, followed by the signature of the method. Abstract functions in C++ are defined using the virtual keyword. Function signature is followed by a special post fix, equals zero, which specifies that the function is pure. Virtual in other words, declared abstract. Virtual function in C++ is equivalent of abstract method in Java. Subclasses must provide definitions of every abstract method inherited from the parent superclass. Concrete method is defined as a member of a subclass the usual way. Typically, an abstract class contains a number of operations that are abstract. An abstract operation has no implementation. It is pure declaration so that subclasses can derive from the abstract class. Java abstract methods cannot have a body. C++ allows virtual functions to have a body. This is so that even though they can be overridden, they can still provide base class functionality. In popular programming languages, abstract attributes are not allowed. Abstract attributes are not part of either Java, nor C++ programming language. Mm -hmm.